Welcome to Table for One. I'm the narrator, and in today's video, we're going to the Ugly Griffin Inn. Let's get rolling. So I am ready to play Ugly Griffin in. It's another one of these button shy wallet games. Uh, I've got just the base game. I know there's some uh, some promos out there, and I think some larger expansions. But I'm pretty happy with uh, with just the base game how it is. So there's 18 cards in here. Each one of them is a wacky character. We are running the Ugly Griffin in. Uh, four of these patrons will be in our bar at a time, and we're going to try and usher them from the bar into the inn, but they're really quirky and they have different things that irk them. And so inevitably some of, some of them are going to leave. Our goal is that by the time we reach the end of the deck, we have at least seven patrons in the inn. So as usual, this is not a how to play video. It's just a solo playthrough, but I'll kind of explain briefly what's going on as we go. So let's deal the first four cards to the bar. This is the bar down here. All right, so uh, this will be explained as you go. I'm going to take the Bloody Barbarian and put him at the end. So he's on the bottom floor right here. And so he says a couple things. Uh, so that, that's the bar phase. You take one character uh, and move him to the end. And now it's the end phase. Uh, and this says, if there's no beer in the bar, then there's an effect. So you can see each character here has either beer, all three of these have beer, or food. He has food. Um, and so if there's no beer in the bar then there's the effect, and it's, it's usually a bad effect, and it causes them to leave. Uh, so we don't have to worry about that. So now we go to the bar phase again. We draw a new card, so we're up to four. You just draw back up to four. And you can see some of these have little symbols up here. These are things that irk these patrons. So the three options are fighting, uh, noise, or uh, smells. Uh, so these two are irked by noise. This one's irked by fighting. This one doesn't have a particular irk, neither does this. So when you're in the bar phase, you look at those symbols down here because each character causes one of those. So this guy's loud and he's irked by fighting. This guy fights and he's irked by uh, noise. This one stinks and isn't irked by anything. And this one fights and is irked by noise. And if there's ever three of the same thing, then it irks all the applicable people in your inn and, and their effects trigger. So I think I'm gonna take the war bear and put him in the inn. So you put him on the top uh, floor of the inn. The the order of events in the bar, or the order of the patrons in the bar doesn't matter. So then you start, go to the inn phase, start at the top, and you check for irks. So this guy says, if there is uh, no food at the inn, there's a beer and there's a food, so we're covered. And this one is irked if there is no beer in the bar, but there's three beer in the bar. So that's the inn phase. So now we go to the bar. We've got four beer. Uh, we've got noise, smell, fight, fight. So we don't have three of anything. So we're going to place, I think, the sensitive hunter. And then we start at the top. If there is uh, more food than beer at the inn, there's not. There's one food and two beer, so don't do anything. If there's no food at the inn, but there is a food at the inn. If there's no beer at the bar, there's three beer at the bar. So we're three for three. We're doing okay. Back to the bar phase. Uh, the teetotal nun. So I think I'm going to do the drunken dwarf next. If there are four or more beer in the inn, one, two, three, not triggered. If there are, if there's more food than beer, uh, there's at the inn, there's one food, three beer, so we're good. If there's no food at the inn, there's a food. If there's no beer at the bar, two beer at the bar, we're good. Bar phase. Uh, so we've got, let's see, one loud, one smell, one fight, two smell. So it's one, two, three smell. Do we have anyone who's irked by smell? This one's irked by fighting. This one's irked by noise. So we're in the clear this time. So let's put this goblin triplet up there. So that effect says, if there are three goblins in the inn, there are not three goblins in the inn. If there are four or more beer in the inn, one, two, three, we're still good. If there is more food than beer, there's two food, three beer. If there's no food in the end, there's two food. If there's no beer at the bar, there's beer at the bar. Five for five, now it's the bar phase. Noise, smell, fighting, smell. There's not three of anything. 
and tell you what we're going to do. We're going to put the bar here, and we're just going to start a, uh, a second line, but it's all one in. <laughs> so I'm going to put the uh, I'm gonna put the nun here, I think, just to make it easier to see. So I'll put the nun here. The nun's on top of the goblin. So if there's beer directly above or below this room, there's nothing above and below there's food, so we're okay. If there are three or more goblins, there's not. Or if there's three goblins at the end, there's not. If there are four or more beer at the end, there's only those three. If there's more food than beer, one, two, three, food, one, two, three, beer, not the case. If there's no food, there is food. If there is no beer at the bar, there is beer at the bar. All right, so we've got six in the inn. I promise they'll start leaving. All right, now we've got the bunny prints, and we have... Noise, smell, smell, and fighting. So nobody's going to be irked. All right, I think I'm going to try and be a little clever and discard a card <laughs> this way. So I'm going to put the charitable giant. So he's at the top. So that says, if the inn has three or more adjacent beer or three or more adjacent food. And we do have one, two, three adjacent beer here. So let's see what the effect is. The giant leaves but pays for another patron's stay. Move a patron from the bar to the top of the inn. Continue resolving irks, starting with the relocated patron. So now this one is just discarded. That's out of the game. And I'm going to relocate the bunny prince there. So now the bunny prince says if there is more beer than food in the end. So let's see. There's one, two, three, four food. One, two, three beer. So we're okay. The nun, uh, the teetotal nun, if there is beer directly above or below, but there's food above and food below, Goblin triplet. If there are three or more gob, if there are three goblins in the end, but there are not. Drunken dwarf. If there are four or more beer at the end, but there's only these three. If there is more food than beer, uh, I think we did hit that. Now. One, two, three, four food, three beer. Then the hunter leaves. Uh, on his way out, he abandons a rotten stag carcass in his room. All patrons in the inn, irked by smells, leave too. Okay, so this guy's gone. Who's irked by smells? Only the bunny prince. So there's a, uh, he's irked by smells, so he leaves. Right, that's what it says. Yeah, it just says they leave. It doesn't say they're irked. So now we continue down. Uh, if there is no food at the end, but there still is food. If there's no beer at the bar, there's still beer at the bar. So we'll just slide these now. Move the teetotal nun up there. And now it's the bar phase, so we draw back up to four. Clumsy wizard and indecisive doppelganger. The doppelgangers are really tricky when I try not to place it. And we have noise, smell, fighting, fighting, so nobody's irked. That's what the bar phase is. When we get to that point and there's nothing else in the deck, then uh, then that's the end of the game. Well, let's go for it. Let's do the doppelganger. So if there are four or more food at the end, there's one, two, three, four. <laughs> Um, that wasn't very smart. The doppelganger shapeshifts into someone else. Draw a card and place it in the doppelganger's room and return the doppelganger to the bottom of the deck. So who knows what we're going to get. Stressed Seder. So it says, if there is no beer at the inn, but there is beer at the inn, so we don't have to worry. For the teetotal nun, if there is beer uh, directly above or below this room. There's food above and food below, so we're good. If there are three goblins in the end, there's not. If there are four or more beer at the end, there's only two. If there is if there is no food at the end, there's plenty of food. If there is no beer at the bar, there's beer at the bar. All right, keep going. Goblin triplet, there's another. And we've got noise, smell, fighting, fighting, fighting. Um, so who's irked by fighting? The nun is. Teetotal nun says, if there's fighting, the nun leaves. She silently judges every other patron on her way out. Rude. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and put the rusty ranger here, I think. So this says, if there are three or more beer at the bar. There's only two beer at the bar. If there is no beer at the inn, but there's beer at the inn. If there are three goblins at the inn, there's not. If there are four more beer at the bar, there's only two. Or I'm sorry, beer at the end, there's only two. If there is no food at the end, but there's plenty of food. If there's no beer at the bar, but there's two beer at the bar. We're still going. Draw another. Noise, smell, smell, fight, fight. We didn't get three of anything, so nobody's going to be irked. All right, so we're going to pick the sleepy summoner. So hers says, if there is noise directly above or below this room, and there's not, there's uh, just fighting. <laughs> I guess that's okay. 
So we're good there. If there are three or more beer at the bar, there's only two. If there's no beer at the inn, there is. If there are three goblins at the inn, there's not. <laughs> if there are four or more beer in the inn, there's only two. If there is no food at the inn, there's plenty of food at the inn. If there's no beer at the bar, there's two beer at the bar. We're still going. The fasting monk. And we have noise, noise, smell, fight, fight. And I'm noticing here, uh, this goblin has two smells. This goblin has two fights. The third goblin triplet is going to be the one with two noise. And I have a lot of patrons irked by noise. That's going to mess stuff up. And I have two here with noise. Um, so I need to try and get them the heck out of here. So let's do the fasting monk, even though I know he's not going to make it long. Um, so the monk is irked if there's food uh, directly above or below this room, and there is. So that triggers the monk leaves quietly. So there goes the monk. Sleepy summoner, if there is noise directly above or below, and there is not. Uh, if there are three or more beer at the bar, there's not. If there is no beer at the inn, there's beer, so we're okay. If there are three goblins at the inn, there's not. If there are four more beer at the inn, nope, we're good. If there is no food at the inn, no, we're definitely good there. If there's no beer at the bar, there's still beer, so let's flip. So we've got noise, smell, smell, fight, fight. So nobody's irked. We're going to have to put the clumsy wizard, I think, if we, uh, if we want to avoid hitting all these noise irks. And looking... There's only two cards left in the deck, and we know it's the doppelganger down there. So this must, we got to get rid of this card before uh, before we start irking everybody. But this wizard is really going to mess stuff up. The wizard's a great one to put on the first turn if you can. But that's not going to happen today, so this is going to be a little risky. Let's place here. Oh, and he's noisy too. If the wizard is at the top of the inn, which he is, then the effect is the wizard casts a brand new spell. Take the three patrons below him, shuffle them, and place them back in random order. This could help me, uh, but it could make it difficult. I don't want the sleepy summoner to be where she was because she'll be irked by his noise. Um, so as long as the sleepy summoner's not on top, this might actually be better. Rusty Ranger. Stressed Seder. Sleepy Summer. I think that is actually an improvement. That was lucky. Rusty Ranger. If there are three or more beer at the bar, there's only two. If there is no beer at the inn for the Stress Seder, but there is beer at the inn, Sleepy Summoner. If there is noise directly above or below, but there's not, there's a uh, smell above and below. The Goblin Triplet cares if there are three goblins in the inn, but there's not. Drunken Dwarf cares if there's four or more beer at the inn. Um, oh, maybe. One, two, three, four. Oh, we've got four beer. So the dwarf leaves drunkenly. He goes out the window instead of the door and lands on a patron waiting outside. Remove the top card of the deck from the game. So he goes. This is removed, and it is that goblin triplet. Okay, so we're just going to slide these and then continue on um, with these. So next would be the war bear. If there's no food at the inn, but there is still food at the inn. And then if there's no beer at the bar, there is beer at the bar. So we're in good shape. So now we add one more. And we have fighting, smell, smell, and two fightings. Anybody irked by fighting? Smell, sound, 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 sound. Nope, nobody's irked by fighting. And that's the end of the bar phase. And the deck is empty. So that is the end of the game. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven patrons at the end. So that is just enough for victory. So again, uh, like the other button shy game uh, that I've played, the, the Last Lighthouse, I like that the, uh, the end game is either you win or you lose. There's no scoring. It's just really, really clear. So that was super fun. I, I like this game. Of the, of the three button shy games that I got, uh, The Last Lighthouse, Ugly Griffin Inn, and Food Chain Island, uh, this one I was the most, I don't know, maybe hesitant on. I didn't, I didn't know if I would love the sort of whimsical, fantastical theme. Uh, but uh, the gameplay's awesome. I really like this one. And so it sort of surprised me. So I know there's like a three card promo pack out there somewhere of just three more characters. I, I remember one was a king, and the king had both food and beer. And then I think the other two cards, one had a food and one had a beer, but they both had all three, like noise, smell, and, or fighting, smell, and noise, if I remember correctly. I could see maybe picking that up. 
and just shuffle those three into the deck and then randomly remove three cards uh, at the start of the game. I could I could see doing that. But there's some other expansions that add like a guest house and some other wacky stuff. I, I think the game is just right how it is. So I don't think I'll grab that stuff. But this is super cool. Uh, I really like it. And again, I like the uh, the portable nature of it. It's like just this little wallet thing. It's like super easy to to move around. You can like leave it in your car or... Uh, you know, you can leave it like in your office or somewhere else in the house or whatever, like wherever you might have a few minutes to play a game. And the rule books for these are like pretty small uh, and simple. So good stuff. So anyway, that's Ugly Griffin in. I'm glad I won. <laughs> I'm glad the clumsy wizard helped me out. I don't usually trust that guy, but I had a good time playing. I hope you had a good time while you were here. At this point, consider uh, subscribing to Table from One if you haven't done so yet, please. And if you like the video, let me know by leaving a like. And uh, I would love to hear from you in the comments. If you've got other button shy games you recommend, let me know what you think. If you you know if you do have the other expansions or promos from Ugly Griffin in, I would like to know what you think of those too. I'm not in any like big hurry to pick up any of that stuff, but who knows? You know, I was surprised by uh, how much I like this game, so maybe I'd be surprised by some of the promo content too. Anyway, that's it this week on Table for One. I hope you have an awesome week, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.